tell him I have this for him. Griffin! Griffin! Come here! Here he comes! I have something for you. Whether it's Valentine's Day or not, it's always a great day to do something secret for someone. Something that's special, that's magical, and has a bit of this mystique where they're not sure what's happening. And one of those things I love to do is using some kind of invisible ink to send a message to someone. Because not only are they getting a message that's a surprise, but when they open it, there's nothing there. And there's an extra surprise when they unveil what that message says. And what I want to show you today is how to do a different kind of invisible ink. So many of the invisible inks just have lemon juice. Maybe some of them have baking soda, but not all of them give you something that ends up looking like this, that has this beautiful red-ish color to it and that lovely yellow background. So I want to show you how to do this with just a few simple ingredients. One of them is turmeric. That's our special secret ingredient. And the other one is baking soda. And when these two combine, you get something very special there as well. You'll also need water and some rubbing alcohol. So let's get going. One of the things that kids complain about when they do invisible ink projects is that when they are writing with the invisible ink, it warps the paper in such a way that you can actually see what was written. So one of the tricks that I do, that I'm, I've already started doing here, is I take the paper I'm gonna be writing on and I actually just put water all over it. And I do it in these kind of random swirls or lines or anything else so that the paper, by being pre-warped, it's not going to easily show the secret message that you have on there. All right, let's prepare the ink. And the ink is going to be simply one third cup of water. And you wanna use room temperature or even a little bit warm because that way, when you add your baking soda, more will dissolve in there. Now, even if you do start out with it being warm, it will pretty quickly cool down to become room temperature. So don't worry too much about getting it super warm. And we are going to put in one tablespoon into that third cup of water. And take note here that there's going to be quite a bit that's not going to dissolve. I'm actually just stirring it with what is going to become my pen, so to speak. And one of the reasons why Q-tips work so well is that because they do have that cotton swab there that absorbs not just a lot of water, but it also picks up a lot of the baking soda. My paper has dried, and as you can see, it's a little bit warped, it's a little bit crackly and curled on the edges, which is perfect for two reasons. One, it just adds to the mystique and the mystery in that kind of treasure map sort of way, but also, after we write on it with the invisible ink, you're not going to see those letters as clearly. All right, I think I'll hold down that curled edge a little bit with my bowl. Here is the baking soda that we put in with the water. And as you can see, it is not all dissolved and that is totally okay. What that means is that we have a saturated solution that is as concentrated as it can be with the baking soda at room temperature. So I'm just sort of swirling it around a little bit because basically I want to make sure that I get a good amount of the baking soda on my Q-tip as I do my message, my secret message. All right, so I think I'm gonna write this secret message to my dog Griffin. Griffin's my buddy, he's a corgi. Everybody loves Griffin, but I love him a lot. So as you can see, I'm dipping it back in every few strokes that I make. 
just making sure that I get baking soda on there. All right. This is so fun. So just imagine being the recipient of a secret message with this wrinkly paper and you don't know what it says, but then maybe the person gives you a little clue as to how they can read this message. So you could even supply the developer for them. Oh, you can hear Griffin in the background. What perfect timing. Um, you can tell them how to make it with the turmeric, or you could give them a little bottle, the secret antidote. Okay, so I have my message here and you can see it now, but we are going to let this dry and then we'll take a look and see what it looks like then. And you'll see what I mean about how that wrinkly, getting it wrinkly ahead of time really helps with concealing the message that's on there. While we are waiting for our secret message to dry, we can make the developer solution. And the way we make this is with our spice turmeric, which is actually quite good for you. It's an antioxidant. And we will use rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And this we will be rubbing all over the whole piece of paper. And so you want some amount that will give you enough to do that. So I'm going to try, because I don't want to use too much of the alcohol. We don't need to make a whole bunch. So I'm going to make two tablespoons of the rubbing alcohol and one quarter of a teaspoon, just a tiny bit of the turmeric. So this does smell pretty strong being rubbing alcohol, but turmeric is not very soluble in water. So I haven't had as much luck of doing this same experiment using water for this step. So the rubbing alcohol seems to be better. And now we'll stir this up. So you can see this is just a beautiful, vibrant yellow here. And All right, some time has passed and it's nice and dry. And this is the amazing part. We can see no evidence that there is a message there. I just love that. That's my favorite part of this. Okay, so now how are we going to get this baking soda message to show up? Well, we need something that is going to have a chemical reaction with baking soda. And that thing is the turmeric solution that we made with the rubbing alcohol. It's been sitting here for a bit, so it has settled to the bottom, but that's okay. We are going to be smearing this solution all over the surface of this paper. And you can do this a couple different ways. The easiest is with a paper towel. You could also use a paintbrush or something like that as well. Now, because it is alcohol and because the turmeric does stain, I think I'm going to use a glove. But Neither of those will hurt you. They're not toxic. But you know, rubbing alcohol, you know, dries out your skin and the turmeric can dye things. They can stain things. So you do want to be a little bit careful about that, especially if you're worried about spilling it or something like that. And not using plastic. All right. So let's take this turmeric, smear it on and see what we see. All right, so we see that it looks yellow. That makes sense because it's turmeric, right? So no, no big surprise there. But what about the message? It is starting to reveal itself. 
pretty much covered up the whole entire sheet here. So it is this lovely yellow. And we can see that message. Now I will invite you to spend some time with this and see how the color changes. And let's think about why this is happening while we're watching this. We have turmeric, which has something called curcumin in it. And that is a molecule that has this deep, red, deep yellow color. And it can undergo an acid-base reaction with the baking soda. And specifically, the baking soda is reacting as a base. And so when it does that, it is actually pretty much ever so slightly, because curcumin is a large molecule, and that it is changing the number of hydrogen atoms that are attached to that molecule. And when we have that acid-base reaction happening, the yellow color turns to this deeper orange color. And if you get enough of the baking soda on there, it is even darker than that. So if you can get, I'm gonna actually show you here. If you can get enough of this baking soda on there, I'm gonna add a little bit more. I still have my baking soda here. And why don't I do it right around on the heart? Let's see what the effect is. Where we had a little bit extra baking soda that I'm adding. We can see that it's even darker. So, that's another thing you can do, is you can do artwork with several layers of the turmeric and by adding baking soda to it and you can get a deeper red color than with this orange message that you see here. With just a couple minutes having passed you can see that the orange stands out more, the red on the heart stands out more, and all of this, this darkening that we see is due to the reaction of baking soda that's acting as a base with the turmeric. Okay, well, if we made this yellow turn to orange and red with the addition of a base, what would happen if we added an acid? such as lemon juice. Well, we need to test this, don't we? So one thing you can do is get another fresh, clean Q-tip, and I just put a little bit of the lemon juice in here. I'm dipping our Q-tip in there. And let's see what happens if we put some of that lemon juice over where we had the baking soda previously. There is immediately a change that's happening, isn't there? So there you have it. Here's a couple of the messages that we made together. Here's the one where I erased it with that lemon juice. It's not fully erased there, but we were definitely seeing an effect happen. And I just love the colors of these. It's something a little bit special. And you can also tell this one I made afterwards. Here's our look under the porch. You could use this for a scavenger hunt. And this one I made a little bit after that one. So you can see that it slowly develops over time and gets more and more like that red brick color. All right, well, if you have enjoyed this, subscribe to my channel, leave your comments below, tell me what special secret message you sent for someone, created for someone, or maybe you just did some artwork as well. And you can also check out my kids' science program. We are called Science Rockstar Kids. And don't forget to make time for science. Shh, don't tell him I have this for him. Griffin.
Griffin. Come here. Here he comes. I have something for you. That's for you. Oh, so good. And it's true. We do love you.